the, this is what the spirit of the Lord says. I have come for my bride. I have come for those that I have chosen. And amidst your pain and your valley, amidst the battles and the struggles that you are facing, I have come for you. I have come because you are ready. I have come because this is your time. Your time is now. Your season is here. Your harvest has come. In fact, the harvest is whitened, but the laborers are few. And tonight, I have come, says the Spirit of the Lord, to anoint you so that you can enter in, so that you can fulfill that for which you were born. The Spirit of the Lord says, I know there's been many challenges. And I know the battle has been raging. But tonight I have chosen because I have an appointment with you. You are not here by chance. This is destiny in the making, says the Spirit of the Lord. I have come because I have seen your faithfulness, says the Lord. Amidst everything, I've seen your faithfulness. And like a David, even before he stepped into his position and I anointed him, tonight I want to anoint you, says the Spirit of the Lord, so that you can get ready for that for which you were born. This is your time. Hallelujah. This is your time. This is your time. This is your moment. Everything that you've ever asked for, I have come to announce, it's about to manifest. It's about to break forth. You're about to enter into a new season. A season of joy and laughter. A season of prosperity. A season of overflow. A season of stability and a season of elevation. Everything that you will put your hands, your heart and your mind to says the Spirit of the Lord, I will bless. I will bless. I will bless it before you've even had the chance to love it. I will bless it before you've even had the chance to speak it. I will bless it before you've even put it on pen and paper. I will bless it. I will bless it, says the Lord. Even before the doors will open, I will bless it. Even before you will share it with someone, God says, I will bless it. I will bless it so that the devil will never be able to steal it from you again. Now, doors that need to be closed is shutting closed now. I hear the sounds of doors. And don't moan and don't cry over that. Um, celebrate and rejoice um, over those doors that need to close in your life. Um, come on, it's closing, it's closing. Um, some of those doors have been open for too long. Um, and it's caused a distraction. Um, it caused you to prolong. It caused you not to progress. Um, and it's closing. And now I will open up a new door for you, says the Lord. I will open up a new opportunity for you. A new level, a new, a new level, a new opportunity, a new grace. It's opening up over you right now, says the Spirit of the Lord. For I have heard your cry and I've seen your tears and I understand your heart. And I understand your purpose, for you are mine, for this is your time, this is your moment. I'm about to change the season for you. I'm about to change the atmosphere for you, says the Lord. 
I'm about to change your situation. I'm about to change your circumstances. I'm about to change that which was a norm to you. I'm about to change that so that you can walk into your fulfillment and enter in to that which I have prepared for you. Thus saith the Spirit of the Lord. Now raise those hands, y'all. Raise it as high as you can and desire tonight. Desire tonight. Desire tonight. Yesterday is gone, y'all. Don't let it arrest your future. Don't let it hold you back. You said, this is my desire. This is my cry, my one desire. More of you, Jesus. More of you, Jesus. More of you, Jesus. Just lift it up, lift it up. There's an impartation tonight. But the willingness have to be on your side. The desire must be on your side. The I want to, I got to, has to be on your side. Lift those hands and surrender and say, Lord, I want it, Lord. I need it, Lord. Somebody else say, Lord, I want it now. Come on, cry out, cry out, cry out. If you're ready for change, you heard the prophecy. It's your time, it's your season. But you must want it, you must desire it. You must cry out for it. You must say, Lord, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it, Lord. Isaiah 118 is very clear. Come now. And let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Tonight God wants to do that total transformation in your life. Because I believe this is the season to enter in. Now one more time, press quickly, press.